the beautiful Calvi, where the teams are heading to the marina for the penultimate day of the GC32 Arezzo Corsica Cup. Following the skipper's briefing, the crews had the chance to get prepared for the day's racing. Day three and uh, another challenging day. Currently the winds are 18 to 15 knots. We're gradually going to see a decrease. So we're looking to go out, uh, do a couple of time trials and then get on with the windward lured racing. Due to strong weather conditions, the sailors had to remain ashore until the mid-afternoon, but they did have the chance to enjoy themselves and relax after two demanding days. Fortunately, patience paid off and the GC32 Racing Tour fleet was able to sail one round of the Anonymo Speed Challenge and two windward lured races. Race 7 went to Australia's Simon Del Zoppo's Film Racing, scoring their first win in Calvi, whilst Race 8 went to Pierre Casaraghi's Team Milizia Yacht Club to Monaco, snatching their seventh bullet at the GC32 Arezzo Corsica Cup. In the Anonimo Speed Challenge, the winner of the day was Real Team, skippered by Jerome Clerk, with an average speed of 18.38 knots. Yes, I'm happy to know that we are the winner of the Anonimo Speed Challenge. It's the first time of the season. Uh, it was not the fastest uh, track we did, I think. The, the wind was quite light. We had some fun. We managed to fly uh, with the Genacura, so I hope the guests had uh, good fun also. Looking forward to, to have the watch. At the end of the third day, Milizia has kept up her lead, followed by Real Team and Argo in third place. Stay tuned for more sailing action from the GC32 Arezzo Corsica Cup.